welcome to part one of the shop update video. I've decided to split this into two parts. The first part you're going to see finally the new enamel pins and also an enamel pin necklace which is a new product that I've tried like I've never made enamel pin necklaces before so that's kind of exciting. I also go on a very lovely walk in the sunshine and go to the meadows and take some photos of Buttercup the dragon in a field of buttercups. I'm trying to remember if anything else happens. I've been sitting on this footage a while because I have pushed the shop update back a few times. <laughs> Basically I went on holiday so I thought can't order everything yet. Um, I'm just back from holiday. So yes, the shop update will be coming soon. I have ordered greeting cards finally. So you'll see that in part two of the shop update video. I will put on the screen somewhere when the shop update is gonna be, because I've not figured that out yet. I've ordered the cards, but I need to work out how long it's gonna take them to print them and then arrive here and then I need to take photos of them. So on the screen, future Emma, please insert the date <laughs> when the shop update will actually be. Yes, I also found out today that my printing company that does my cards, um, they're actually going on holiday themselves soon. So hopefully they can print the cards before they go away. But yes, we will sort that out, hence future Emma. Write the date here, please. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this vlog. Is there anything else to say? I don't know. I am. I have stolen Tom's mug. My parents got me and Tom mugs years ago. I have got one that has like this sort of history of art, like different art movements. And Tom has got this nice like solar system one because Tom likes science. But yes, I have stolen his mug, borrowed his mug. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the vlog um, and yeah, I will see you back here at the end. As you can see, I have a very exciting box to open. So yeah, I'm gonna open this. This morning, actually, I did have my, like a booster vaccine. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna do any work or anything today, but I'm feeling all right. Um, I've just got a slightly sore arm as per usual. Um, when I have the vaccines and most people I think that's the similar side effects you get but yeah feeling okay um but yeah I wasn't really planning on doing much work but then the pins arrived and I really really wanted to unbox them so I thought I'll put some lipstick on put some earrings on just to make myself feel a bit better and yeah I'm actually really excited to see these so I'm gonna show them to you now and yeah actually going through the pins today that might be quite a nice kind of chilled thing to do maybe watch a bit of tv or something um but yeah i'm really really excited to get into these pins so let's open them the battery is also flashing at me so i need to change that there's a lot of tape on this box this is like a very well wrapped present how do i even <laughs> okay well, let's see what is in the box. <gasps> I'm excited. What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Ooh. Number one. Oh! <gasps> so this one looks like the necklace that I did. <gasps> Look. May as well show you this one first of all. What do we think of the chain length? Oh, I think it looks really cute. Let me go and show you the like packaging that I've got for the necklaces. I got these little kind of like jewelry boxes. So they're just tiny cardboard boxes. And they've got these, there's a kind of a velvet feel, like insert thing. And then these ones you can have you can either use them for like earrings, so they've got, it's a bit hard to see, but they've got like two slits here. Or I think if you have it this way around, you can do it as a necklace. So we'll see. I guess that would go around that way. Ah, cute. 
Oh, maybe it should come down a little bit further. What do you think? Was that too, maybe that's too far. <laughs> a little bit higher up. <laughs> I think they look really nice in the boxes yeah and I just um I love having like kind of spring flowers on things so yeah that's how the necklaces will be packaged um oh wait was that the lid or is did I do that the right way around <laughs> I think that that way around There we go, that's it. And then that's the lid. And I was thinking about whether I should get something on the lid. Um, as this was the first time I was having a go at making necklaces, I didn't want to spend loads of money getting like a fancy box done when like the main thing is the necklace. So yeah, I think that'll look really good. So I can spend some time going through those, checking them for firsts and seconds. At a glance, these all look good. But yeah, I'll have a proper sort through them soon and, and give them a polish as well. What do we have next? Ah, this is a restock of the Badger. Ooh, they've given me red. Why have they given me red backs on these? Also, um, but yeah, so my company, they, they wrap everything in tissue, but some of the things, some of them, they, I don't know if it's like the extras, they usually give me in these tiny bags, but it's a lot better than before when they did everything in bags. But yeah, so this is a reorder of the Badger pin. It's very cute in his little boots. But for some reason, he's come with red uh, pin things on the back. And he's meant to have blue ones. I don't know if it's because I wanted um, my Phoenix ones, which are here, which are a new design. These ones have got red things on the back. So I'm thinking that might have confused them. And this is my Autumn Phoenix pin. The two, the two reds that I chose are actually very subtle in difference. <laughs> so it kind of looks like it's all the same red, but I think, I think that red is a slightly darker shade. I thought more people would probably prefer the red color Phoenix, as that's the kind of color that you would associate with Phoenixes. So I've got those to look through. Oh. I've just got pins everywhere, so I'm just gonna quickly make one of these boxes up so I can put them in here. Quickly becoming very chaotic. There we go. These are rabbits. See, these ones have actually got the blue backs to them. To be fair, I think I have got some spare some spare blue backs, so that's fine. The rabbit is very dinky. Oh, and shiny. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the rabbit. The rabbit is a restock of the Woodlands um, animals. I wanna see the new stuff. <laughs> oh, what's this one? Oh, there's nothing on the outside. So this will be a surprise as to which one this is. What are you, what are you? I think it's the unicorns. Oh, they look really cute. Cute little chunky unicorn. Oh, I think he looks really nice. Nice little unicorn with like snowdrops on him. Very cute. <laughs> So these are in nickel. I've done some of my pins in silver before and if you don't know, silver is actually quite um, 
silver tarnishes quite easily so I've made sure to get my other pins done in nickel you can polish your pins if you do notice that like they tarnish a little bit I guess it's it's like the same with jewelry isn't it oh uh, this I think is my favorite one. Oh, it's come out so nice so this is buttercup the dragon isn't he beautiful yeah that one's definitely my favorite he's got green rubber backs oh he is lovely maybe i should do more dragons oh we've got the mini pins left oh, i'm excited to see the mini pins what's this are these are these mini pins Ooh. I should really I think, I, let me show you a close up again <gasps> oh they're so cute yes yeah, so I'm gonna be selling I've got like a couple of different colors so I've got I think two colors of the tulips this, this is the little peach tulip so I think this is the red tulip Yay! Oh, these have come out really nice. Let me show you them together. Oh, they've come out really, really nice. I think they'd be great, like, as a set. A little blue flower. Oh, it's so nice. And then last, but not least, and then we have a little white flower. Oh, that's so cute. So now my desk is absolutely covered in pins and I need to try and sort this out. Um, but yeah, so far everything looks good. I need to have a proper look through everything. The one thing that I did notice was that the restock of the badges and the bears have ended up with red rubber backs and I think that might have been because I had red rubber backs on um, the phoenix pin so I don't know if they just got a little bit confused or maybe if they were doing them at the same time but yeah other than that I think everything looks good I've got a lot of things to sort through sort into first and seconds okay I should have been more organized <laughs> as I was I'm wrapping these but I just get so excited and I just want to see them and then I just have piles of stuff on top of piles of stuff <laughs> okay okay i'm ready to put some of the backing cards some of the pins on the backing cards so i haven't shown you these yet this is going to be for the autumn phoenix that one for buttercup the dragon and i drew all of these just on my ipad and i think they came out really well and um if you've seen some of my past studio vlogs I remember before making backing cards, drawing them quite large in coloured pencil and scanning them into the computer and it taking like ages um, and this was so much quicker and I think they've come out really well. I really love the backing card for the mini pins. So yeah, I need to decide what I want to do with the mini pins because I was kind of thinking originally of maybe just having like the four pins on one um but i don't know maybe i should offer them like offer some different options so if you just want to get one pin or if you want to get two but i think that they would look really cool like as a set of four so i think i'm gonna leave those for now until i can work out what i'm doing unless i just do some that are four on a thing and then do or maybe just put them on the backing cards as I pack them. I need to, I'll leave that until I've worked out what I'm doing. So, um, I think I've got the unicorns here. So yeah, I'm gonna start with the unicorns. Let's just angle you down.
them as I'm going through. Um, what I usually do is have a look at the pins. So I make sure the pins are straight. If there's any, like this one is, I mean, you can hardly tell, it's not so bad. It's just slightly wonky. So I do have like a set of pliers. So if any of them need a little bit of straightening, there we go. I mean, that one really wasn't very bad at all. But yeah, so I just, I check, I check the pins and then I'm just checking to see if there's like any marks on the pins, if there's any missing enamel. So like the color, if there's any missing colors, if there's any scratches. And like, I'm trying to be less of a perfectionist with this. And I think everyone, when they grade pins, they probably have like varying degrees um like some people are probably really picky and some people like less so if you can't see anything immediately wrong with it then it's probably a first or as if you're like staring at it for ages and then you'd like see like a tiny little speck of something that's probably fine something that i did notice that i think i probably should have changed on the design is um my unicorn's horn um it obviously goes into um a really like tiny point and i think this this one is like perfect it looks great but i think it was possibly a mistake to have such a tiny little bit at the end where i wanted white enamel paint um because obviously that's going to be really hard for them to fill in so i don't think i should have made that that small but yeah these are things that you kind of learn as you're making them um obviously like the smaller area that there is that's going to be harder to fill in um and i've mentioned before that when when i design these i usually design them on the ipad and I'm usually designing it quite, like, quite big. And then I think, oh yeah, I need to like scale it down so I can actually see what it's gonna look like. But yeah, I think I should have maybe done like three sections of the horn instead of four sections. So I think this one would be a second because it's got just a little bit of a mark there. It's not too bad, but I think if there's any marks near like its face or near sort of like the main kind of part of the pin um then i'd definitely make that a second i always stick a pin onto these box thingies these storage boxes just so that i know what pins there are in there also something that i finally added to my backing cards is my website <laughs> uh probably should have done this a while ago i'm not going to worry about all the other pins that i've already got because i've got a lot of backing cards that don't have my website on yeah even though obviously i put in like a thank you card with all my contact details and stuff in i should really i should really have this on um especially if i want to do like wholesale and stuff in the future I applied to FAIR by the way, I think I mentioned that before, which is like a wholesale marketplace. I'm still waiting to hear back from them. I also actually need to double check what they take because I think they do take quite a high percentage, but then I was kind of thinking if it's not including the postage and if it's like a wholesale order, so if it's for like quite a lot of pins, then it might be a good idea. I'm so happy with these unicorns. I can't decide which is my favourite between the unicorn and the dragon. I think out of those two, they're, they're my new favourite out of the new stuff. And just as the couple of 
days later, I've been going through putting uh, pins on backing cards. I'm still not finished, but I've just been watching Crazy Ex-Girlfriends, which I haven't seen for a while. I'm really enjoying it, actually. So I've been watching that, putting pins on backing cards. But today, I thought we might actually go out and hopefully take some photos of the buttercup dragon with some buttercups. There's a nice little walk we like to do that's near us and when we went there last there were buttercups in the field so hopefully it'll be okay. It is quite a cloudy day today which is good I think for like I actually prefer sort of cloudy weather for taking photographs because it's not so dramatic lighting. I was thinking I was looking up like buttercups are one of those flowers that they like open and close with the sun. I think it's just at night time that they close. I guess if it's cloudy they'll still be open. I guess we'll find out. I was kind of researching um yeah about like how flowers open and close and apparently it's to like protect the pollen so yeah some flowers at night time they'll like close their petals to protect the pollen and also because like bees and insects that come to pollinate they <laughs> i don't know why i'm putting this in a shop update <laughs> video <laughs> but it might be interesting for some people i was just basically looking this up because i thought about going really early this morning and then I was like wait will that be too early will the buttercups all be closed anyway so basically the buttercups they're open during the day because then the bees and other insects can come and like pollinate and stuff and then they'll close at night time to protect the pollen but apparently there are some other flowers that if they're pollinated by like moths and bats they'll do the opposite they'll like open at night time and close in the day and i think that's really cool i haven't actually it didn't say when i was doing my little bit of research there it didn't say what flowers um those were so maybe i'll do some <laughs> more research into that later on but right now we are going to go and take some photos buttercups should we go this way this way to the buttercups. Call me out, tiger. Call me out, why don't you love? Lift me up higher. Above the clouds, won't you love? The scenery is right, go right in I want to fall deep within Don't leave me hanging just cause I'm too proud Whisper away my outdated doubts Somebody do me the courtesy Dress me down That old yet I'm far too young To not stand my ground But my ways are mine And I don't want to change Not even for love Now take back all them hard words I'm a grown holiday I don't think I actually mentioned in the footage that I got already that I was going on holiday other than the intro that I've just filmed now um, so yes we went to Wales we had a lovely time yes that was one of the reasons why everything was kind of like pushed back a little bit so 
We're back now, it is now Wednesday. We got back actually Saturday evening, but then we had the day off on Monday. So Tuesday, I made sure that I ordered the cards. So I've sent all the designs off. I'm still waiting to pay for them. And I need to work out how long it's gonna be before um, they actually get here. Another very important thing that I need to sort out before the shop update is I need to get a new printer because I've broken the printer. Let me show you. Okay, so here, I mean, it doesn't look like it's broken until you turn it on. Ugh. Slightly dusty. This lovely error code comes up and this apparently is like a really, really bad, like kiss of death error code. And basically when this happens, if you contact Canon, Apparently they usually just tell you to get a new printer. <laughs> I managed to break the printer just before we went on holiday because I was trying to be organised and I made a packing list and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna make a packing list and I can like tick off all the things that I wanted to bring on holiday and like how many tops and you know, other things that I wanted to bring, like I wanted to bring my iPad and other things like that. I don't know why it suddenly broke, it suddenly broke. I looked up a few tutorials and it said like to take all the cartridges out and replace them. We've, we've tried lots of different things, um, tried also just the usual turn it off and turn it on again but yeah. Haven't been able to fix it, Couldn't tried to fix it before we went away and then obviously we've been away and we've come back and it's still broken. Uh, so I think it would probably cost as much to fix it as to just get a new printer. So I need to do that. Um, I have, I turned my, um, I closed my shop, uh, both my Etsy shop and my Foxy shop. Um, I closed them when we went away. Um, so now that we're back, I, I've opened them back up again, but I didn't do like a big announcement <laughs> because I was like, oh, my printer's not. Um, not working. I've had two orders come through so I've written the addresses out by hand but that wasn't so bad because there was just two so I need to go and post those now so I'm gonna do that. I was tempted to order a printer from Argos and go collect it and then bring it home and plug it in and stuff um, but I also need to get some food shopping and I'm thinking do I really want to lug food shopping home and a printer home? <laughs> Probably not. But yeah, so I'm gonna go post those, get some food shopping, and yeah, hopefully in shop update part two, I will have my new printer. Oh yeah, the other thing was, I was thinking, do I get like a label printer instead? One of the things I use my printer for is actually scanning. It's a printer and a scanner. So even though it's the, the printer has stopped working, the scanner, like it won't do anything. It won't scan. It's just a very annoying error code that will literally stop you from doing anything. That's a bit annoying. Uh, so yeah, I think I do actually need another printer because I really need it for a scanner. And if I buy a scanner on its own, like I feel like it probably would cost the same as a printer. Like I said, I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna sign off the blog here. There will be a part two. Again, Emma, please put up the date for when the shop update will be, because I don't know right now. And yes, I'm sending you lots of love. I hope you've had a wonderful day and a wonderful week and I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye. Do you like butter? Or vegan butter? Do you like vegan butter? And uh, la la la. Hi everyone, welcome. <laughs> oh, it's been a while since I've started talking to the camera uh, because I was designing some greeting cards and then I I kind of forgot that my holiday was coming up. I mean, I knew it was coming up, but you know when the time just kind of goes by? I sound so scatty. I am quite scatty. Um, it's fine, it's fine. Um, hi everyone, welcome to another studio vlog, a very exciting studio update, no, shop update. <laughs> It's not record. <laughs> I don't know when that stopped recording. Don't step on the buttercups. Ah. Don't crush the buttercups. Woo. Thank you for coming. I know that you're trying to do anything to make me smile.